Hello, human. Welcome to an accurate simulation of Office Worker. Take a look at this board for instructions. Workers would traditionally start their day with an addictive liquid stimulant. Also, workers would ingest a frosted sugar torus for sustenance. Now you're ready to start your day. It's time for computer. The computer is the most important facet of the office, with humans in safety being a close second and third. Email was an inefficient form of communication popularized in the mid-1990s. Ah, the freedom of Inbox Zero. Here comes Whoa, Supervisor Blue. Blue. Better look busy. Okay, everybody. Let's make some business. Johnson, I'm counting on you to paradigm shift. Those optimizations. Uh, you can count on me. That's what I like to hear. Hey, human. You've been doing a good job. I've been thinking about giving you a promotion. In fact, if nothing goes wrong in the next 10 seconds, the job's yours. you always working hard to climb that ladder take this the new position's yours good job human you're climbing the ranks and here comes boss bot yeah. looks like he's got more work for you it's working and you'll get a promotion maybe <laughs> Hello, human. I am BossBot. I notice you've logged in, so I'm here to give you your first task of the day. We need to bring some new bots on board, so look through your resumes and find two bots to hire. You heard them. Make sure you pick the best bots for the job. throw have you seen the latest sales report this isn't good load up the old spreadsheet program and fix these numbers
Wow, you cook those books like a professional gourmet chef. It's time for lunch. At midday, humans would interact with primitive robots known as vending machines to obtain food. Looks delicious. Enjoy your meal, human. Hey, co-worker. Can you get me a candy bar? Looks like it's stuck. Sadly, this was common with early generations of robots. No, that's not what I wanted. Get me a candy bar. Aw, oh, man. Did you just... Not cool, human. Aw, oh, man. Did you just... No, that's not what I wanted. Get me a candy bar. Thanks, co-worker! Hey, co-worker, over here! Get on your computer and check out these hilarious pictures! That was a pretty nice throw. Hello, human. Come on. I'm looking forward to your presentation today on all of the business that we did in the last week. So BossBot wants you to do a presentation. You'll need to make some slides. Time to learn about an ancient human technique called winging it. Try using this program in your computer. So, you ready to go through this presentation? Here's the clicker. Use the button to go through your slides. Well, what do you know? Interesting concept. 
Nice job, human. That was very business. Hey, human. Bot number 10110 is retiring tomorrow. We wanted to give them a parting gift. Everyone's pitching in. Why don't you give me something you'd like to contribute? I'm sure they will. Appreciate it. Anyway, do you think you could type up a quick card to go with this? It would make it a lot more... Personal. That looks good. Hand it to me. I'll handle the rest. Thanks for helping out. Oh, a message! Uh, things aren't going too well. We need to find a couple bots we can let go. Take a look at these employee evaluations. saving up to buy a new hard drive. Ugh, that almost hurt. I can't believe it! Hired and fired in the same day? In the office, co-workers would converse around the liquid dispenser. Hey! Man, did you hear that? Bot 2272 got fired? Man, that's notable. Hey Bill, did you see the sports event on TV last night? It was pretty touchdown. Check out these photos of my many children. Do you bear children, human? Yeah, hey, look, I've got some papers I need you to shred. It has to be you for legal reasons. I don't really want to get into it. Here, just look in the case. Shred everything. Just get rid of it. Thing. I just found out that for insurance reasons, you can't actually have this much stuff in your cubicle. So, uh, you're going to need to get rid of some of that, too. Yeah. 
Ooh, that'll do. Ooh, that was a close one. All right, carry on. Nothing to see here. Right there. Hold it. Don't let that bot get away. Hello, human. I am CEO Bot. Here's the thing. Boss Bot needs to go away for a while, and you've been doing a really good job. So I'd like to offer you a promotion. Happy promotion to human. human. Happy, Happy promotion, promotion to human. human. Now make a wish and blow out the candles. Sorry, human. Looks like there's not enough cake for you. Here you go, human. I got you a present. Hey, that almost hurt. Come on. Now that you're the boss of this department, I'll leave it to you to do the honors. Yay! Woohoo! It's time to go home! Good job, everyone! Let's get out of here before boss tries to stop us! Howdy, neighbor. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Hooray! It's five o'clock. Work is over. Truth through this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask you to come in on Saturday. Well, there you have it, human. I hope this has given you a better idea of what it was once like to office worker. Well, you know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging. Hello, human. Grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. A true grease monkey. Get under the hood and get your hands dirty in our simulated mechanics shop. Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of Auto Mechanic. Take a look at this board for instructions. Good morning, human. I'll require a tune-up. Please take a look under the hood. This spot just needs a little fluid. No problem. This vehicle's power source appears to be unacceptably inefficient. Well done. That's looking very... Car. Press the button to drop it back down when you're finished.
In shops like these, everything had a price. Make sure you bill the customer for the use of your highly valuable time. Oh, thank you, human. I'll get this taken care of right away. Very good, human, but we're just getting started. The world of auto mechanic has so much more to offer. <laughs> Human, I've got this coupon for a sleazebot special, whatever that is. Says that there's a discount, so hurry up and take care of my car. Get a move on. Human, over here. I'm Sleazebot, the owner of this fine establishment. Now this bot's got a coupon, so let's take real good care of him by sabotaging that car and making him come back later for more work. in the engine? Don't need those. Uh, yeah, just, uh, recombobulate the, the, the thing there. Uh, how about my headlight fluid? How's that looking? <laughs> yeah, I know about cars. Headlight fluid? You name it, we got it. Get this bot some headlight fluid, human. Here. Why don't we spice up their gas tank with a little secret ingredient that'll ensure they're back later for more work? new coupon I came up with when you're done messing with that oh. Is it? I do like discounts. You've really earned my patronage, good human. Nice job with that, bot. You did all right, human. Now you keep at it. I'll be in the back counting the money. This beauty at the local junkyard just needs a little love so I can drive illegally. What do you say? 
Human transport vehicles had to be evaluated for safety regularly. Broken components like these headlights would have to be replaced before evaluation. The uh, air filter's not doing too good either. Want to take a look at that? Yeah, filters under the hood, human. Keep up, all right? Oh, hey. Now, how about my rust problem? Figure you could cover that up with a fresh coat of paint. Well, that looks good as new. Makes that old hood ornament look uh, aesthetically displeasing. Think you can swap that out with something new and shiny? Well, reboot my hard drive. It's like a whole new car. Drop it down and give me that bill so I can show it off to my buddies. Thank you kindly, human. Far superior robot people, but you know, I mean, I, I, I don't want to make it. I'm not trying to make it. A yeah, you know, the top of a car. I mean, it, it's where you're really getting serious about what you know, what's up at the top. Yeah, the highest part of the car is a. That's the part of the car that's going to be the highest uh, in altitude. Hello, It'll human. Be, I'm required by law to do emissions test on my vehicle. Part. Get it yeah, done you know, so I can get out of this dump. They get Thank you. It's, it gets high. It gets high up there. You know, it's high, it's the highest section of the car, really. Yeah, it's the highest. I mean, look, uh, look. I don't want to get into an argument with you about it, but it is the highest section. Yeah, you know, I, you know what? It, I, it is the high. I, I'm saying, it, I'm. You're gonna make me get into an argument because I'm telling you, it is the highest section. I. That's what I'm trying to sell, tell you. Well, I'm trying to tell you, Buster. Yeah, this looks like a lot of work. Or the Let's see if we can figure out a shortcut. Check my stats. See if there's anything right, in there. You know, that you, you're getting me real upset. I'm going to have to kick you out of here if you're going to keep up this sort of oh, attitude. Oh, banana. No, That'll do it. You, Nothing you coming out of the tailpipe. No problem, right? You know, because I'm trying to talk about the very well, highest altitude of a car. A and it's the roof part. And we're, you My know, work here and is now you're yelling at me, and I'm, I wasn't Back even upset. Now I'm, I'm humans, just getting mad because you're yelling at me, air fresheners and you're saying I'm upset, the and that makes me more upset than the even the original whatever argument that started. All right, okay, okay, okay. Let's just let's calm down. Let's just calm down. You're listening to the radio, car radio, or one zero 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 one one zero FM radio. We're talking cars today. My guest Henry here. Henry, what else? You, you know, what, how, uh, are you, how are you killing up there? Well, you know, I'm just here to talk about pipes and that they have inside the cars and the and the and the box. You know, the little metal box, and you know, maybe we could talk about some of the, the tubes. You know, there's plenty of tubes in a car. I mean, so you can't deny does this mean I passed? Tubes. Well, yes, I did true, my part. Catch you later, tubes human. and pipes and metal. You know, it's probably. The definition of a car is how much metal and pipes and the tubes that good people All right. there. You're listening to Car Talk here at on 1001110001 radio. It's uh, 0011100110111 o'clock here. Uh, on I'm just the having the station. worst day ever. And other the tires are shot the and robot they need some facility, One of the biggest facilities for robots where the, they hang out and just float around and is, is getting renovations this month. For the first time ever, there'll be a whole wing where you can float about and float outside up, up on a very high story of the building and there'll be a whole wing of robots and lots of people are excited about it. We take it to the mayor of robot people. We're excited about all this. I'm the mayor and we're very excited to announce that the robot facility, the largest facility that has the, where the robots can float around now officially has a wing on the highest floor, one of the high floors that actually has a, like a large balcony that goes outside. 
outside and we can walk outside. Or float outside, I mean, and, and, and it's a, new, a whole new experience here at this building. Traffic is normal and the time is 10011 and oh my goodness, it's a little time for some commercials. Krispies, Krispies. You like them. You gotta eat those Krispies and they're crispy and good. Krispies. Creations, I do admit. Oh yes, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested about these cars. I think they're pretty interesting. I do admit that there's a lot of stuff about them. There sure is. There's a lot of stuff about these cars as they've got pipes and tubes and all sorts of, you Could know, Could you put a spare parts. tire in the back of my Just truck so I'm really, a little more prepared? You know, what equipment he do? I'm pretty sure my engine's overheating too. It's making all kinds of weird noises. When objects are too hot, fluid can be used to cool them down. Ways and weather is just about good for all of everybody. A new delicious gear that you can install in the back of your computer part is driving people in droves to the computer gear store in the giant computer shopping. And these computer gears are moving like hotcakes. The newest things are looking a bit better, but uh, I spilled my slushy on the way over here. Could you fill it up for me? Before nutritional implants, humans also needed fluid from time to time. You can put it in the back of your circuit area and for a whole fresh... Be a better robot and all that. So that's that happened on the uh, today, and people are going wild for it. The lines are all the way stretched around the whole perimeter of the giant place where you shop. Thanks, human. Maybe this day is going to turn around for me after all. Anyway... Drop my car down when you're done, then uh, uh, let me see the damage. Character who is known for being a, doing computer things uh, has just released his third computer thing today. It's called Computer Things Part Three, and it's filled with all kinds of wonderful computer things. And it come out comes out today. So this does mark a pretty monumental... Oh, this is nothing compared to my student loans. Thanks for getting me back on the road. The sky is... Uh, there's like a piece in there. Just a real kind of squarely dark from the giant massive clouds of... that were kicked up when the robots decided they didn't plants on the ground, so... Back in the age of capitalism, shops like this would be hesitant to question a customer's needs. Very happy about this. Uh, hey, human! I need an emergency paint job. I suddenly decided I hate the color of this car. Totally normal thing to do. I'm not on the run or anything. Give this fuck whatever they want. Open. It's not our concern. I can really use some more gas too if you want to fill it up. I've been on the run. I mean, I've been having fun. Fun ride. Just uh, put some gas in, please. Relations are doing perfectly well here on 
Okay, just give me the bill. You know I've got the cheddar. You never saw me, alright? Breaking news, the famous robot uh, who sings and floats around has just been found in a gutter in the behind a robot facility. Hey human, I'm participating in a car show tonight and I want to look my best. Think you can give my car a looking at? This one's all yours, human. Just drop the lid when you're I was thinking mostly stuff on the, uh, outside of the car. But hey, you're the expert. circuits are putting inside of him. We hope and do wish he has a speedy recovery. It's one hundred mm, nice color. I can dig it. And traffic out there seems to be right on schedule. Weather is at New tires. Okay, give me something fresh. For most robots and I can see you're busy, so just drop the car when you're finished with it, alright? Hey, you know what? You did a pretty good job with this. Just hand me the bill and I'm out of here. Fully in swing, it seems as if humans are getting treated even better than they did a little bit ago before. Now humans are allowed to experience their old-timey things and in the news... All right, human. Right. See you again sometime. Bring it over to Mr. Newsy Michael. Hey, what's going on? It's me, Mr. Newsy Michael. I'm out on the street. I'm talking to all these people. We're going to get some real interactions about okay, what's human. going on. There's a big race going on today, and I've decided to sponsor it. We're guaranteed to make lots of money What's off this. On? We just need some advertising. Oh, man. This is the sign we're going to put out. Start by hanging some decorations on the side stand. Use anything. Whatever looks good. Way better than they get treated and 100% better. And robots are really good people. All right, back to you. Well, that's an interesting. Thank you very much. Uh, Here's some old paints I have lying around. Paint something cool in the middle. Then hand me the paintbrush when you're done. On the news station. And other news, the robot facility, one of the biggest facilities for robots, where the, they hang out and just float around, and is, is getting renovations this month. For the first time ever, there'll be a whole wing where you can float about and float outside up, up on a very high story of the building and there'll be a whole wing out there for robots and lots of people are excited about it. We take it to the mayor of robot people. We're excited about all this. I'm the mayor and we're very excited to announce that the robot facility, the largest facility that has where the robots can float around now officially has a wing on the highest floor, one of the high floors that actually has a, like a large balcony that goes outside and you can walk outside and, or float outside I mean, and, and, and it's a new, a whole new experience here at this building. Traffic is that normal and the time is 10011 and oh my goodness, it's a little time for some commercials. Krispies, Krispies, if you like them, you eat those Krispies and they're crispy and good. Krispies. A human fell down a giant hole and was trying to... That looks sad, uh, good enough. Uh, now it goes. Could pick now we just sit back and wait for the customers to come swarming in. Uh, experience for Reginald Johnson Jones, who was trapped in the hole. Um, apparently, uh, the statement he made is that he is very thankful for the swift, uh, speedy services of the robot people. He did not mind being trapped in the hole for for close to four days. It was okay, so I was racing super fast as usual and out of nowhere there was all this oil and debris and I spun out and my car's all messed up now. So, so what's the deal? Can you help me or what? Yeah, come on! Traffic and weather. Uh, traffic is still fine as always and weather is just about good. Delicious gear.
here that you can install in the back of your computer part is driving people in droves to the computer gear store in the giant computer shopping place. And these computer gears are in my pocket. The newest gear... Give this bot the best we got, humans. These race and types are always willing to shell out the money for the top brands. ...hooks on the, around the outer perimeter, and which makes it turn quicker, and you can put it in the back of your circuit area, and for a whole fresh, you know, you'll be a better robot and all that. So that's, that happened on the, uh, today, and people are going wild for it. The lines are all the way stretched around the whole perimeter of the giant place where you shop to buy food. Okay, maybe that'll work, maybe but I computer. feel like we can go even faster. Uh, uh could you load up the form for us and turbo nerves? The fastest Joker. you got. Pour it right in there. Being let's do this. Come on, let's go. Things, uh, has just released his third computer thing today. It's called Computer Thing Part Three, and it's filled with all kinds of wonderful computer things. And come out, comes out today. So this does mark a pretty monumental occasion. Interesting. <laughs> if you're sure this will work, I trust you. Okay, now it's time to win this race. I'm out of here. Let's go. See ya. The giant, massive clouds of uh, dust that were kicked up when. The robots decided they didn't want... Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm the news person, and today we're talking about human and robot relations. Cool! Hey, man. Yeah. Can you help me clean out my chocolate van? Achilles piece. You're gnarly in there. Oh, yeah, I know all I'm about the Achilles piece. It's a important piece of a car. Well, there's lots of stuff inside of a car you got to tuck around with and move around with, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with all the intricacies about a car, you know? There's all those pipes and different metal parts and things such as that. All kinds of them, really. They're very interesting vehicles, these cars. They're very uh, you got me to help out with the... Oh, yes, I, I'm, I'm, t I'm really interested about these cars. I think they're pretty interesting. I do admit that there's a lot of stuff about them. There sure is. There's a lot of stuff about these cars. There's, they've got pipes and tubes and all sorts of, you know, metal parts. It's just really, you know, what about the new, that new car? Oh, oh, the new car. All right, oh, that's yeah. looking I mean, a lot better. So, I'm trying to go it has fully metal, too, green, lots of metal man. Could you yeah, switch my, um, get battery out to something that really vibes with my style? Yeah, those cars, they really hooked it up a notch when they, you know, God broke the mold when he made that, just a car. When he made a car, he broke the mold. Yeah, he sure did break it. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll tell you about those cars, you know, there's a lot of, lot to talk about when it comes to cars. I mean, you know, you got, you pop the hood and there's the, there's that one piece. Ah, uh, yeah, the piece. I know what piece, it's that one metal, the metal piece. Yeah, yeah, the metal one, you know, that metal piece is just, it's something else. I mean, you know, it's, a, it's an important piece. It's maybe the most important piece of, I mean, that's the first piece you want to look at when you're talking about a car. Yes, that metal piece, it's an important piece, but I do also, I don't want to take any, you know, of the limelight away from the tubes. There's lots of tubes and, 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 uh, and pipes. Let's not forget the pipes. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, a car, you, you can't, I mean, you, you can't have a car without the pipes and the tubes. I mean, there's, that's an important part of a car. That's an important equation. Sure is, it's an important that's the most important issue with the car these days. It's one of the hottest topics is the pipes and the tubes. There's just all all sorts of tubes. It's, it's a wild world. It's a wild world we're living in with these cars. Yeah, you know, there's a car. There was this one car and it had a, you know, there was a, there was a square shaped metal thing inside of the trunk part. I mean, inside of the, the front part of it. Oh, really? Yeah, inside the, the front section, the, the, with the 
with the lid that you Oh, I it. love it. Yeah, it's yeah, there, totally like green. A piece in there. Just a real kind of square shape, Doma, or a little more, a little more detailed than a square, but it's a piece of metal. I mean, you gotta give them, you gotta give it up for these cars. Yeah, you sure do. You gotta, you gotta give it up for the car. I mean, there's at least a big piece of Check out that, check out the metal. You know, this whole thing about cars is, is um, you gotta check out the metal when you pop the lid. Yeah, it's a classic tip saying. You know, it's funny, I, I remember, you know, not to make this about me, but... Hey, human, those are legal! ...cars and all the, with the tubes and the pipes and the metal, square metal chunks, and I, 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 I was just learning it from, you know, somebody who told me about it, and I, I, I was a fond time in my life when I was learning about all that. Yeah, I remember, you know, when I learned about all there is to know about cars, I mean, from the top to the bottom, I mean, from the beginning to the end, it was just a great conversation about... All right, human, that looks good. I'll see what I can do about this bill. I mean, that's pretty much, I mean, I, we, I, 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 I you, were, you and I are in the same boat, because I was, I... I'll never forget where, you know, where I was when somebody told me about all that stuff. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's where, how I feel about it as well. I mean, this is, it's, 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 these cars are just, you know, I could talk all day about how wonderful they are. You're listening to Car Talk here at... Hey, Salif, but I got the car just like you asked. Let's hurry up and get to work before he comes looking for it. Oh, uh, human, this is a special job. We got to, uh, strip this thing down for parts. For, for reasons. Uh, Come on, human. Grab everything you can. You Hurry up. Cars, uh, uh, Henry. Oh, yeah. My name's Henry, and I... Tires are good. Uh, Make sure you nab yeah, all of them. I don't know. I mean, I'm just a uh, car head. You know, it's all about cars. I mean, you can't... I'll answer any questions about any kind of car you want. All right, Henry. Yeah, I got... A you're my best host, co-host I've ever had here on Car Talk Radio, one zero zero one one zero zero FM dot com on the Car Talk Station, one zero zero one one zero 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 FM. Uh, boy, these cars, you know, do they get any car more car like? <laughs> do they get any more car like? <laughs> That's like what uh, that one character used to say on that one primetime hit. Uh, sitcom from the uh, the 90s. He used to go, could you get any more car talk about cars in here? <laughs> oh yeah, I know all about what you're talking about right there. That's a real great reference about cars and just tubes. And you know, my name's Henry, and this is, and you're listening to Car Talk Radio on dub on zero zero one zero zero one one zero radio. Uh, What's the next topic? Well, up next, we're just going to talk about just cars. So, you know, I was... You know, yeah, I always can't forget the plates. How Those are worth something. There's that part of it. You know, the side, the, the side hinge, I'll call it, where you pull on it and sort of a big thing unfurls, you know, it sort of folds open, or unfolds, I should say. Against nice. The, the Those will be side. easy to resell. And, and uh, every car has at least two of them, you know. Oh yeah, I, I've seen a lot of cars have four of them. Oh yeah, there's plenty of cars that have four of those. I mean, those are real something else. I mean, you gotta, you know, <laughs> came up with those unfolding hinge things uh, that, that, that these cars have. Yeah, you know, he broke, God broke the mold. That's, that is true, he made those hinge things. You know, I, I, you know, you look close at them, and there's lots of metal. Um, you know, not not too many. Uh, I don't see too many tubes, though. Not too many tubes. No, no, yeah, you're you're right about that. Not not a whole lot of tubes there. And I, I, no pipes either. I don't actually recall seeing too many pipes in that section. Yeah, no, it's funny. I mean, you know, these cars are made mostly. Nothing too pipes, small to loot. I like it. Hello, but here he comes. Little foldy things on the side. Right. 
of the car. It took me a while to find where you parked my car, Valet Bot. I never would have expected you to get it tuned up for me like this. <laughs> it's great. Are you done with it? Can I drive it home? Tough. Uh, they must, you know, the tubes in the pipes must be pretty well. A free tune up? <laughs> this is the best valet service ever. Well, you're listening to Radio. Nice job. Radio. I'll be back for my share of the earnings zero, later. Zero, one, 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 zero. Let's just call that last uh, job a little bit of personal the business. Top of a car. Just pretend you never saw anything, all right? Yeah, you know, the top of a car. I mean, you're, you're really getting serious about what, you know, what's up at the top. Well, that car looks pretty messed up. The part of the car is a... That's the part of the car that's... Oh, you high. gotta help me, human. I took my dad's car out last night with my friends, and now it's a mess. He's gonna kill me. Yeah, you know, it's okay, funny because... Okay, this won't be too bad. Just clear it, off those branches for starters. It's high up there, you know? It's high, It's the highest section of the car, really. Yeah, it's the highest section. I mean, look, uh, look, I don't want to get into an argument with you about it, but it is the highest section. Yeah, you know, I, you know what? It, I, it is the height. I, I'm saying, I'm. You're gonna make me get into an argument because I'm telling you, it is the highest section. I. That's what I'm trying to sell. That uh, novelty ass looks incriminating. The, the, Better the, remove the, that the too. Top of the car is the highest section of the car. Now, you, no, you know, you, you, you're getting me real upset. I'm gonna have to kick you out uh, of here. Uh, okay, I just realized he's totally gonna know I use the car because of my limits counter. I'm getting pissed. Can you do something? You know, because I'm trying to do very I used to do this all the time when I was a kid. It's the roof just part. throw the car in and reverse you know, and put the pedal to the metal. And I'm, I wasn't even upset. Now I'm, I'm just getting mad because you're yelling at me and you're saying I'm upset, and that makes me more upset than even the original whatever argument that started. Uh, there's a bit right, more okay, okay. evidence okay, let's in just, the trunk. Let's calm down. Let's just calm down. Too? You're listening to the radio, car radio, W or er, one zero 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 one one zero FM radio. We're talking cars today. My guest Henry here. Uh, okay, great. Henry, what just else? you know, do what anything you gotta do. You just build me when there. you're done. Well, you Still know, have my dad's credit card, about so. Pipes and that they have inside the cars and the and the and the box. You know, the little metal box, and you know, maybe we could talk about some of the the tubes. You know, there's plenty of tubes in a car. I mean, you can't deny how the amount of tubes. Yes, it's true. It's true. There are lots of tubes and pipes and metal. You know, it's probably. The definition of a car is how much metal and pipes and the tubes that it that it does you know that's in there. You're listening to Car Talk here at on one zero zero one 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 zero 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 one radio. Human, grab a cartridge or trim grease monkey. Get under the hood and get your hands dirty in our simulated mechanic shop. Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of Auto Mechanic. Oh, you gotta help me, human. I took my dad's car out last night with my friends, and now it's a mess. He's gonna kill me. That, uh, novelty air freshener looks incriminating. Better remove that, too. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. I just realized he's totally gonna know I used the car, because the mileage counter. Can you do something? Ah, <laughs> classic. I used to do this all the time when I was a kid. Just throw the car in reverse and put the pedal- Uh, there's a bit more evidence in the trunk. You think you could get rid of that too? Ah, uh, okay, great. Just do anything you gotta do. Just bill me when you're done. I still have my dad's credit card, so... Oh, 
Thanks, you. I'll get this going away. Uh, later. You're the best. Yo, I just inherited this car from my rich uncle. You gotta help me make it look as awesome as I am. Pick out a paint color that really reflects my personality. Interesting choice. Let's make this car look a little more sick. Hang something cool on the inside there. Something that expresses who I am. Solid choice. I feel that. I'm all about the cosmetics, human. You gotta stand out. I got this custom piece of hardware off the internet. Why don't you throw it on there for me? Yeah, right on the tailpipe. Yo, my hood's looking empty. You gotta help me spice it up with some custom bling. Nice! This thing is looking seriously sick! What is this? A bill? <laughs> I'll get my dad to take care of this. Every year we have a float in the local parade. We get to decorate this thing with a bunch of grifty loot pots and build a mayor for it. It's great. So let's give this thing the woods. How about a fresh coat of paint? Those circular platforms on the corner where we can display some parts. Fill them up with stuff you want to showcase. Nice, nice. Now, uh, what's a float without some dangling bits? Attach some stuff on the sides. On those little pegs. There's room for some more on the back there, too.
This looks great. We're gonna get so much money from the mayor. Drop it when you're done, and we'll send it out. Parades were celebratory events where humans drove slow processions of decorated vehicles in a line. A uh, uh, character who... And, you know, my name... Being, uh, doing computer things... Uh, has just released his third computer thing today. It's called Computer Thing, Part 3, and it's filled with all kinds of wonderful computers. It comes out today. So this does mark a pretty monumental... Hello, movie. human. I recently purchased this card to promote my new smoothie business. I was told it was a lemon, so I thought it would be great. I don't understand what's wrong with is, uh, It's making it sound like... Could you take a look? Fairly dark. Lemons everywhere. We'll need to do some serious delemoning on this vehicle. The robots decided they didn't want all these plants on the ground, so it's a pretty, it's a dark thing, and it's, but it's, but it's humans are, seem to be very happy about this uh, thing, and I'm, this is news all the time radio for robots. This is 011 771. Uh, sorry, this is 011011111. You're listening to All Talk News Radio 01011100. Excellent. This is literally the best service I've ever had. That's looking better. Feel free to drop the vehicle when you feel it's unlemony enough. I'm going to have this passed off to my personal accountant to be taken care of. Have a highly functional day, human. Human and robot relations are doing perfectly well here on 0011500 News. You're tuned in to 0011001 News. And I'm 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 the news person, and today we're talking about human and robot relations are on the mend. There's certainly nothing. Hello, human! Of I'm on my way to get married! Right now. I thought you could help me decorate my car with some debris. There's equal footing, and humans are perfectly fine and being treated with respect. Following a marriage ceremony, it was an ancient human robot. tradition to attach garbage but, you know, to the I mean, back I, of their I, vehicles I, I, for I don't attention. Make it, I'm not trying to make it about me, I'm just a news anchor. Now let's go to Sally, who's on the scene. You're listening to All News All the Time. Radio 0011100111. Breaking news, the I think we need more debris. Robot, uh, debris uh, equals love. Things, put it inside, put it around, outside, put it everywhere. Has just been found in a gutter in the behind a robot facility. A beloved robot who's charmed us all in the past with his beautiful songs and learning skills seems to hit rock bottom. He's in stable condition currently at Robot Fixing Building, where he's being fixed up and maybe some new circuits are putting inside of him. We hope and do wish he has a speedy recovery. It's 100 o'clock. Traffic out there seems to be right on schedule. Looks amazing. The weather is now for uh, one last tradition. Temperature. Bring a bottle of my family's hey, finest grape juice on the car. And it's the roof part. And we're, you know, you're, and now you're yelling at me, and I'm, I wasn't even upset. Now I'm, I'm just getting mad because you're yelling at me, and you're saying I'm upset, and that makes me more upset than even the original whatever argument that started. All right. Okay. 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 Let's just let's calm down. Let's just calm down. You're listening to. The radio, car radio, W er, one zero 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 one one zero FM radio. We're talking cars today. My guest Henry You've here. You've so much Henry, for us. What else? It you kind know, of feels you, like you're part you of the wedding party now. There? Well, you know, do I'm just here to talk you about. Do you have a gift and, for and us? They have inside the cars and the throw you know, something in the trunk. You know, the little metal box, and you know, maybe we could talk about some of the, the tubes. You know, there's plenty of tubes in a car. I mean, you can't deny how the amount of tubes. Yes, it's true, it's true. There are lots of tubes and pipes and metal. You know, it's probably the definition of oh, a car. Oh, wow, how much metal a gift. And pipes and you tubes shouldn't have. That it does, you know, that's in there. You're listening to Car Talk here at on 10011100001 radio. I think you're gonna get a discount on this, buddy. Wedding jobs are double price. Oh, 
Oh. Well, uh, I'll sort this out. You gotta get going or I'll be late. Well, I'd love to keep exploiting his free labor, but that's all I got for you, human. Not bad. Not bad at all. I right, hope this has given you a better understanding of what it was once like to auto mechanic. Well, you know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want. Hello, human. Grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. Are you a fan of slushies and hot dogs? You'll love the convenience store. Hello, human. Welcome to an accurate simulation of... Convenience store clerk. Take a look at this board for instructions and grab a ticket when you're ready to get started. Let's open up this shop. You can start by cleaning off your counter. You also want to turn on the security camera so you can keep an eye on the store. Alrighty, let's get to business. Here's your first customer. Good afternoon, human. I would like to purchase these... Chips. Could I also get one of those meat cylinders, please? Hot dogs are in the freezer. Make sure you heat them up, at least a little bit. Acceptable. Hurry up and scan that so I can be eating already. You can just thanks a bunch. To finalize a sale, pull the lever on the register. your paper currency. Don't forget to hand over the change. Many thanks. Have a profitable day. It was important for stores like this to maintain a constant stream of customers. This to maintain a constant stream of customers, so that cashiers wouldn't have time to contemplate their rapidly approaching obsolescence. Well, hello. Would you kind? Ah, yes, much better. 
I'll take one of those frozen slushy delights. Would you kindly jumbo size that? I love the taste of sugar! Oh, you're very good at scanning! Now, would you pass that to me? And here are some banknotes for you! Keep the change, good human! Paper copy of yesterday's news. And uh, I'll take my daily lottery ticket as well. Feeling a little faint today, dearie. Do you think you could scratch that lottery ticket for me? You can use my quarter. Oh, I guess I won't be getting those upgrades today. Let me...
just write you a check for those. There we are. Oh, what a kind young human you are. Have a lovely day. So I'm like, yeah, brah, it's a buyer's market. They're looking at me like I'm crazy, you know? And what, what are you talking? No, no, I'm talking to you. No, you. Yeah, you. You got that hot dog already? Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, I hear you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Hot dog? No. I was talking, not you. I want some gum. No. Not you. The human. I want to buy some gum already. Jeez. What is this, your first job? Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Huh? Yeah. Oh, I hear you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm talking to you. No. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah. Wow. Took you long enough. N no, not you. The other... Uh, forget it. Some people just don't know how to listen. Am I right? Yeah. No. You. I'm talking to you, bro. No matter how irritating the customer, humans were required to smile and be polite. Angel, put that nice, healthy banana up there for the human. Now you stay here for a minute, dearie. Mommy needs to use the little bot's room. thing there human just do whatever the customer or their children wants and make sure you always grab that money ah. yo this place is looking sick but you know what it needs more maximum energy branding why don't you bring up that display and we can pump it up a bit? Yeah, that's the one! Let's max this thing out! I gotta run to the bathroom, so I'm counting on you to really push the envelope on this thing. If you're all done, just hit that button and let's lock this thing in! Human! Over here! Uh, I need something 
for uh, cleaning. Uh, I gotta clean up here. Pass me something. Anything. Uh, I guess I can make this work. Yeah, I'll be out in a second. Alright, much better. Let's see this display, human. Alright, looking good. And now we're on brand, baby. Boom! <laughs> Peace out, human. Oh, I just got back from jogging, and, oh man, do you have something to replenish my electrolytes? Oh, this, uh, this maximum energy stuff, uh, looks new, right? Uh, it looks like you have to shake it. Could you shake it? All right, that looks good. Hurry up and scan it. I need a drink already. All right, all right, here's your money. Take it, take it. All right. Oh, I feel energized, so energized. Back before the universal credit system, some humans had more money than they knew what to do with and struggled to find ways to spend it. Hmm, hello, human. Looks like I've got some money to blow. What's good here? Give me... stuff. Whatever's good. Oh, yeah, oh, no, that's cool. Uh, how about a couple more things? Perfect! Here's a bunch of money! Keep the change! Nothing like a little retail therapy. Make sure you grab their money. This is your weekly delivery stuff from the shelves and stuff. Well, there you go. You know the drill. Gum on the gum rack. Magazines on the magazine rack. Put stuff where it goes. Get it sorted. Oh wow, look at you go. Taking the box out. See you later. Hey, uh, I don't have any money. Is there anything in there I could have for free? Hmm, how about those popsicles in the freezer? If we don't sell those by tomorrow, we're going to have to throw them out anyway.
Uh, oh, I wasn't expecting to actually get something. Oh, uh, if you're able to, could I get a bit of change too? Wow, thanks. You're a real good person. I'll be going now. Hello there, human. Look at this. I've got a coin here for you. <laughs> what can I buy for this? Surely you could give me something. <sighs> Just give this bot something. Preferably not something especially valuable. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Sometimes it was necessary to make special deals with customers like this to assure their repeated patronage. What? Oh no! Here comes trouble! Nah, see? Today's not your lucky day, pal. Open that safe and give me all your cheddar. Ha! <laughs> Luckily that was my fake banana! There's plenty more where that came from, kid. Ah, you're persistent. I respect that. Don't have all day, human. Let's get on with it. Ah, you're persistent. I respect that. There's plenty more where that came from, kid. Ah, you're persistent. I respect that. More of that sweet, sweet cheddar. I'm gonna buy a new pair of shoes. Later, chump. You'll never catch me. Despite dealing almost exclusively in low-value products, convenience stores were often the targets of robbery. Um, I, uh, I want to get some food? I think this bot's had a little too much juice. Better throw something to get its attention. Huh? Oh! Ah, uh, hey, I, uh, um, oh, I f forgot what I want. Uh, burrito. Ah, oh, burrito's good! <laughs> wait, 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 I want like, like a big burrito, like real big! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Big burrito! <laughs> Here's your money! Don't forget to put cash in the register. Just Alright! Later! Wow there. I haven't seen a mess this big since the Human Uprising of 2027. Hold on there, human. I have just the thing. Why don't you try it out? The keyhole is right there by the dial. See it?
This microbot is designed to clean even the most disgusting human messes. Grab the controller and clean those stains around the store. That's good enough for now, I think. Just pull the key out to deactivate the robot and we'll move on to our next customer. Something about this seems a little bit strange. You should probably check their ID. Oh yeah, ID, no problem. Me, I mean, I got that right here. Check it out with your universal scanning device, human. Uh, uh no, wait, that's the wrong one. Try, try this one. Well, the technology is never wrong. That appears to be one legitimately adult robot. I guess you can give them their fireworks. Oh man, we're totally gonna get away with doing this. Shut up, Julie! Alright! Oh no, let's book it! I can't go back to jail! That was strange, but the most important thing is that the product is safe. Let's move on. Good evening, human. I understand you were held at Banana Point earlier this evening. We've captured the suspects, we just need you to point out who did it. Who took your cheddar? Let me make it simple for you. Here are the three suspects. Just hand me the one who did it. Make sure you're certain. Oh, bandit bot. When will you learn? Nah, can't prove anything. I'll get you. Looks like you're getting the hang of this clerk job, kid. Well, you know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want. Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of... Gourmet Chef. We'll start by making some breakfast. Turn on the grill and let's get frying. Even though humans spend the entire night in a state of low power consumption, they still require food energy as soon as they wake up. Bacon and eggs provide a high energy taste ratio. Now put your creations on the plate and you can ring the bell to send it out to the restaurant. The smoothie is one of the most efficient forms of human food. Simply take some of your inefficient solid food and put it through the blender. Good. Pour it out into a cup and then we can serve it.
Hello, human. Uh, might I trouble you for some tea and crumpets? Tea is a traditional human beverage consisting of heated water and flavor. Let's begin with heating some water using a kettle. Like most beverages, tea is best optimized for consumption by being placed in a cup. Similar to tea, crumpets also require heat. To cook flat items, humans use devices called toaster. Let's try making some soup. As you can see, there are several different kinds we can make, but they all start with putting some water in the pot. Great! Now fill it up with whatever kind of ingredients you want. Just like Mombot used to make. Next, create a vertical arrangement of organic elements. Humans refer to this as a sandwich. I'm trying to cut down on gluten, but that looks pretty sandwich.
Yes, bonjour. Today I brought you a very rare steak. It is a 1984 vintage. Eh? I wish to have it prepared. Please, human, do continue. I do wish for it to be well done. Ah, yes, quite well done. Now. If you would be so kind as to pair it with your finest vintage grape juice. Très bien, très bien. Please have it delivered out to the restaurant at once. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Before you plate that, did you realize that was famed meat aficionado meat butt? We'd better make sure our service is exceptional. Better slip this on the plate too. Hello, it's my little Timmy Bot's birthday. Can we get some pizza for the kids? Pizza is generally defined as a combination of bread, tomato, and cheese. Chefs would put their own twist on the dish, adding additional food items known as toppings. Let's begin by blending up some homemade tomato sauce. Delicious! Now apply sauce to bread. We are almost there. Combining the bread with some cheese in the microwave should fulfill all material requirements. That looks like enough to supply the festivities. Send them off to the dining room. To mention, little Timmy is deadly allergic to tomatoes. Could you make a special slice? What do you want instead of sauce on your pizza, Timmy? I want sauce. That sauce. Make me applesauce. All right. The human will make you some applesauce. Go sit down now.
sure thing. Timmy is also allergic to worms. Could you just serve the ingredients raw? Special for you. <coughs> There's tomatoes in here. I can taste it. Psst. Hey, human. Can you help me out here? I'm trying to propose to my romantic partner. I want it to be a surprise. Can you hide this rain inside a sandwich or something? One more thing, though. I wanted to have some romantic music playing while I do it, but I forgot to burn this disc. Could you burn it for me? To show affection for one another, humans of the past would burn music onto primitive storage devices called discs. The details of the burning procedure have largely been lost to his... Oh, that'll be perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, make sure you load the disc into the boombox and hit play before you send out that sandwich. I'll take care of things from there. My sandwich feels much heavier than usual. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder if there's something different inside? What, what do you mean? What, uh, what's this? My sweet, I... Emotion. You. Will you enter a legally binding partnership with me? Oh, of course. I'm the happiest spot in the world. Oh, wow. The answer was affirmative. The answer was affirmative. with their pizza and now they're ready for cake. We do get a free birthday cake, right? Can't argue with that. Human-run restaurants were morally obligated to provide free cake on children's birthdays. Good thing we have a microwave that can quickly mutate ingredients into food. Let's get going. Hey boss, that party left a huge pile of dirty dishes. We're gonna need your help to get through these. They're pretty nasty, so make sure you use a good score to soap. Well, that's okay. We'll just take it out of your paycheck. Come on, what's the point of having opposable thumbs if you can't even hold a plate?
Great, thanks for your help. There, I need your help. The health inspector's on his way over and I don't think we're gonna pass inspection. You need to clean this place up. Now make it safe and sanitary. You can start by destroying all this old fruit. <laughs> Okay, that's one thing taken care of. How about those sprinklers? See that little thing up on the ceiling? Try chucking something at it. See what happens. I guess it's not working. Oh well, what are the chances of there being a fire in here anyway? Now we need to deal with any potential insect problems. Look around and see if you can find anything. Yikes, that's not good. You need to do something about these guys. Get rid of them quick! Well, I guess that'll have to do. Here comes the health inspector. Okay, everybody stop what you're doing. It's inspection time. Hmm, yes. Interesting. Ugh, that's questionable. Hmm, alright then. I'll just tally these results. And it looks like you've passed this time. Whew, that was a close one. But now we can get back to business. Hey, Chef! There's a bot here to film an episode of some TV show with you? Hmm. Well, they say it was already booked ahead of time, so... Well, just do whatever they say. Hey, human! I'm TV bot! We're doing a show on how these organic nutrient packs are made. So I just need to record some footage of you going through the various steps, okay? First step is to blend up this protein pill. <laughs> Let's get a shot of you doing that. Okay, great, that was good. Now let's get a shot of you putting this flavor packet in the microwave. All right, it's in there. Close the door and let me get a shot of the microwave or run it. All right, everybody's following along at home. We got our fully expanded flavor cube. Can you just show that to the camera? Beautiful! Now just pour that blended protein fluid onto the cube and we are done! Hey, great job, human! Really appreciate it. Oh, one more thing. Can I get a shot of you eating it? Just act like it's real delicious, alright? Thank you so much, human. This is some great footage. This episode's gonna be fantastic! Hey, human, check this out. I found this rare Turbo Ghost Death Nova Pepper. Can you prepare it for me? I like it, H. Come on, put some heat into it. Come on, that's not hot enough. Can't you do something else? Hmm, yeah, I guess that'll have to do. Give it here. 
Hey, Chef, we got three bots out here who ordered the special. Not sure what that means, but that's what they want. Ordering the special means placing your trust in the Chef. Just give those bots anything. Be creative. Hmm, that looks interesting. Send it off to the customer. Another beautiful looking meal, chef. Aha! Mm, this meal looks so truly. And that'll do for the last one. <laughs> Is this some kind of avant-garde meal? They wanted something special, and they certainly got it. Nice cooking, human. Holy smokes! This is way too hot! Oh, sounds like the guy with the hot pepper from earlier. Hey, Chef! Help a bot out here! Come on! Thanks, human. You really saved my circuits. I just got word from the TV studio, human. They liked your performance on that commercial you did, so they're sending in a camera crew, and they're gonna put you in a reality show. In the distant past, having your own reality show was seen as the peak of human achievement. Good work, human. Okay, bots, let's get those cameras set up already. Ready to go, boss. You ready, human? Okay, bring in the talent. Nice to meet you, human. I'm Chef Bot Ramshead. Let's get this ball rolling, shall we? Okay, we'll start with the meatball scene. And action. What are you waiting for, human? Get cooking! These meatballs aren't going to prepare themselves. Those look so bad, my neural network associates them with literal garbage. So are you going to serve them or just let them sit there and get even more disgusting? Truly despicable. My kids could cook a meal a hundred times better than that, and they're graphing calculators! Cut! That was good. Well, great so far, human. I know I could be a little loud on camera, but it's all just part of the show, you know? All right, scene two, that's the freeform cooking part. And action. You worthless chemical-based meat bag. Get to cooking, make something good, show us what you can do, if anything. That's so overdone, it could be a meme. 
You about finished yet? Hurry up, serve it! That's what you call a meal. Cut! Greeting protocol. Now for the fun part. Let's take a peek inside your suite. To move around, look where you want to go. Then hold this button until you see your destination. Before we go on vacation, we need to make sure you look relax. Head into the bathroom to personalize the way you look. Every human starts as a blank slate. You can be the you you see in yourself. Good, human! Before we head out into the world, you'll want a place to keep all your cool stuff. Here, take this one-of-a-kind human back storage device. I think they called it a backpack. Wow, human, you look really tourist. Feel free to continue exploring your suite. I'll be outside when you want to check out the rest of Vacation Island. Whatever you may need in your stay at our resort. is itinerary.
Welcome to the Vacation Simulator Vacation Island Resort. We hope you enjoy your stay. We offer many activities. Welcome to the Vacation Island Weather Network. The weather today is 24 degrees Celsius. That is 297.15 Kelvin. You unlock this door with a key of relaxation. You're in a new simulator on an island, but how did you get here? Does it matter? Bots in an Apartment is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Woo! I've got it! I figured it out! <laughs> well, that's never a good sign. I figured out how we're going to get rich. We'll finally have enough money to move to Bot City. Is this any better than the time you tried to start a rideshare service by installing a door in your back for humans to climb into? Ah, uh, loads better. We're going to use Beauty Bot Anti-Aging Spray. Is your chassis turning yellow? Is your Bot anti-aging spray. Is your chassis turning yellow? Is your resin Well, I thought we were ready to vacation, but it looks like all the destinations are closed right now. What is this? This wasn't here earlier. Funny you should ask. The Bureau of Simulations requires metrics to prove the success of a project, which you seem to have conveniently forgotten. Luckily, I figured out a way to measure vacation. Quantified memory management. Oh, efficiency bot. I should have known. Here, human. Take this wristband. It will be your key to unlock efficient, measurable fun. Efficient! Now use it on that scanner over there. Access denied. You don't have enough memories. Oh, yes. <clears throat> you need memories to gain access to different areas of the resort. Here, try this. A memory of the time you didn't have enough memories. Really? You didn't even ask me. And that is how you vacation. So I guess we're doing memories now. Anyway, it looks like your wristband has enough memories for that scanner. Try it. I'll try waving your wristband. And with that, Vacation Island is open. You can visit any of our three destinations. The beach is the most efficient place to start. Please select a destination. Chatting and not doing anything is inefficient. Welcome to Vacation Beach. Humans came to the beach to reconnect to the moment they evolved to walk on land. Ah, I see you're finally getting the hang of vacation. Make enough memories and you'll get access to more areas of Vacation Island. I'm not sure that measuring vacations was the point, but I'm happy we made it to the beach. The Bureau of Simulations won't be satisfied unless we have clear metrics. I don't think we're seeing screen to screen on this one. <laughs> but I know a way to track the moments you enjoyed, human. There's a camera in your backpack. Try it out. Just tap the button on the camera to snap a photo. Wonderful! Now this is vacationing. <laughs> there 
there are plenty of actual memories to be made on the beach. And I've heard you can find Botbeard's treasure at the dive site. Have fun vacationing your way, human. We'll see you later. Hey, human. I told bots I'm a supercomputer grilling machine. But I think I'm in over my head. Can you help me clear some of these requests? Welcome to the Sandcastle Station, human. You can design your own castle, or try to follow the blueprints. BurgerBot has met the threshold of my expectations for this burger. Thank you. This food fits my diet. Thanks. Oh, thanks for making all those orders, mate. Here's a memory for your trouble. When you finish an order, bring it to the pot and hand it to them. Tell BurgerBot the food is accurate. Ah, yes! Finally! The beach cooler has arrived! Be a good worker and get me some coolant. I'm trying to optimize my sun intake. Uh, I never expected to have to ask twice at Vacation Islands, but here goes. Will you get me coolant, human? If you're hurting for cash, you can find some sand dollars on the ground in shallow water. Welcome to the dock shop, human. Hey, you're my first customer today. Let's make a memory together. Take a selfie and hand it to me so I can frame this moment. And don't forget, your camera hovers, my human. It will let you strike a sweet pose. Awesome! Nice selfie, human! 
I'll put it on the wall so we can remember this moment forever. Oh, Bites, here's a memory for you. Awesome shopping with you, human. Whoa. Finally, human speed is just so lagging. Now, since you have hands and I don't, I need you to help me get my back. Take the bottle and get to it. Keep going, human. My chassis is extra sensitive to the sun. That's good, human. I'm all cool, though. And I guess we accidentally made a memory together. So, here. Now, it's time to pass. Suntan, beach to lay on, and now food. The only thing missing is you leaving me to relax. I told you I don't need any- The requests are on this order board. Just bring the finished item to the bot that made the request. Oh, wow, human! This looks very... Burger. Oh, man, you are grilling it out there! I bet everyone thinks I'm the best burger flipper around! But finishing these orders makes a great memory! of every beach. Let's play beach ball! When I hit the ball to you, you hit the ball back to me! Don't grab it or let it hit the water! Let's see how many points we can score together! That was satisfactory. Nice! 
you want. Amazing! I didn't even know the score could go that high. There are many more sports we can play. Just find another type of ball. Sorry, human. This won't really work for a full sport. So? Oh, good! I was hoping you could play something cooperative. Here we go! Keep bringing those points! You did it! You make a good point. Good going, human! Hey, nice job! You're getting plenty good at this! There are many more sports we can play. Just find another type of ball. Hey, it's a handball. Let's play. The rules are simple. Get the ball past me and I'll hand you a point. Try to beat my high score, human. Totally smash the high score. Here's a Mary. There's still more sports we can play. Just find new balls and bring them back here. Oh my, would you look around? There are so many butterflies on this beach. I emotion. All of these tiny creatures. You could be a kind human and fetch me three different types. They're very shy, so move slowly. An interface between water. One simple molecule. Hydrogen. Oxygen. Hydrogen. A center. Thank you, human. Two more butterflies will really make my screensaver. Thank you, human. I'm so gratitude. My heart is filled, and so is the sun report. Let's bask in the memory like a butterfly in the sun. Heart is beating as fast as a butterfly's wings. I'm so happy you were able to find them all. I'm so pleased you're taking the time to visit the sandcastle maker. I'm sure you're going to build something delightful. You are free to create whatever you want. And I'm sure we can make a fantastic memory if you decide to make the castles and the blueprints. human. A few new pieces can make such a difference, can't they?
laid a really solid foundation and in the process built a wonderful memory. that are correct. You should check the blueprint again. match this blueprint, but at least you're having fun. Oh dear, human. None of those angles match the blueprint. Take into account all angles, human. Hello, human. Would you like to do some yoga? Here, human. Please follow me to achieve a state of optimal processing. Calm down. Deep breaths. Do you feel relaxed? Am I asking too many questions? Feel your human tension releasing with every procedure. Listen to your inner power supply. Great job, human. Keep following the optimization procedure. Your precision algorithm is almost accurate. Inhale, positive. Exhale, negative. Fine. 
find your inner home page. Oh, you're not matching my instructions. Remember to hold. Remember to defrag. And here is the final pose for today. Yes, feel the energy going through your body. That was great, human. This yoga was especially yoga thanks to you. Take this memory. It is the essence of your path to relaxation. You may keep the smart buzz if you like. If you're hurting for cash, you can find some sand dollars on the ground in shallow water. Thanks for being a great customer, human! Food is a really good way to vacation. Thanks! Oh, hi there! Are you also on vacation? Great! My sibling bots and I couldn't decide which vacation we wanted to go on, so we each went with our favorite. Now, I have to prove to my siblings that beach vacation is the greatest vacation. Oh, 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 hey, could you help me out? There are sketches of all the best vacation moments on that stand. Take a photo that matches the image and place it right on the top of the sketch. Now my siblings will see how much fun I'm having! Oh, and uh, by the way, human, you can replace any photo on the stand, as long as it matches the original sketch. Our an update's great? I know, right? to deliver anything the bots wanted, but I'm too scared to show me screen. Listen, can you bring the bots the orders once you finish? Oh, I didn't want to embarrass myself in front of the other. It's not a beach party without some gourmet grub. Whoa! That's an entire set! The fun of beach vacation has really inspired you, human. Take this memory. I'm glad you found the time to join me at the yoga station. Shall we begin? Take these smart bells when you're ready to begin. Perfect. I'm feeling more calibrated just looking at the picture.
Nice one, human. Really shows off the monetary value of the beach. Looks like there's another scanner here. I know Efficiency Bot is worried about the success of the simulation, but this just seems excessive. Oh well. It looks like you need five memories here on the beach before we can see the dive site. Pass accepted. You now have enough memories to access the dive site. Paging the self-driving boat. Let's go, human! Hop on board and throw the switch so we can go dive. To go to the dive site, just push that lever to the max. Go to the dive site, just push that lever to the max. Are you looking for a way to let off some steam? Sportsbot has all the physical activities you could ask for. Welcome to the dive site. Move off the back of the ship to go diving. Leaving the ship is a waiver of all liabilities on behalf of the resort. Enjoy your dive, human. Botbeard was notorious for their huge collection of illegally downloaded software. Legend says they sunk their own ship to keep it away from the authorities. Press this button for more ocean facts. Oh, hello. Most people come down here to see the sunken ship, but I'm more interested in marine life. We've all seen fish, but there are aquatic creatures down here unlike anything else. Could you give me photos of the more unique citizens of the sea so I may add them to my collection? The octopus is an early ancestor of the hexadecimus which has 16 appendages. That's a perfect sea turtle picture. Oh, look at it. Bilateral symmetry. I've been subscribed to Dolphin Facts for many years, but oh, I never thought I'd see one up close. Well, look here! You found one! 
It's even bigger than I projected. We're making wonderful progress. Oh, I've learned so much about the ocean with your help. Here, you deserve this memory. I'm going to work on expanding my diorama further. If you come across any new creatures, be sure to send those photos my way. A fish. Uh, there are plenty of these in the sea, but not quite the unique marine life I was hoping for. Are there any stingrays swimming around? I still need a photo of one for the catalogue. with specially evolved hooves. Stingrays were discovered by Raymond Sting in 1703. This is a nice photo, but these little fish are all over the place. I'm looking for pictures of the more unique citizens of the sea. Hmm? Hello, human. I've been researching this wreck for the longest time, but a mystery still eludes me. They say Quadbeard had a favorite sea shanty that would play every time they set sail. But I can't figure out how it went. Well, there must be some kind of clue around here. Look into that! Those shells That's it! That's it! da 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 oh, We're doing pirate things! Oh, or, uh, maybe... We are on Bob Beard ship! No... Ew, well, I'll figure out the lyrics on my own, human. Oh, thank you for helping me with my research. I'll remember this forever. And here's a memory for you. It's a very rare thing to see. One find an eel. Oh, they are mysterious creatures. And I. Ah, the mysterious eel. Also known as the danger noodle of the sea. Ah, I have so much material to study. I'm sure this paper will be accepted by Virtual Geographic. Ah, here, human. Here's another memory for all your help. <laughs> You 
made it. Check this out. I wonder if there's a way to open this chest. Can we keep this moving? generating memories, not playing dress-up. This whole excursion has really thrown off the metrics. The human is making memories. Can't you see how much fun they're having? But the metrics are trending downwards. Just look at this chart. Let me see that. Are you sure it's right set up? Of course it's correct. My math coprocessor is certified at the atomic level. Maybe we aren't measuring the right thing. I'm not sure. I've always been a champion at quantity. I'm going to rerun the numbers. I'll talk with efficiency bot and see if you can sort this out. If you want to head back to the beach immediately, just use that door. And no matter what, remember to continue enjoying your vacation. That whale's even bigger than I thought. I'm glad you got that picture and not me. Oh, we keep adding more reasons why this vacation is the best. And this memory is another one. Pirate bot. Lost at sea, but never forgotten on Vacation Island. Oh, now that is an impressive photo. The metrics are concerning. I came here to help, but I'm not seeing the upward trend I was expecting. I know it looks bad, but we're still working out the glitches. Really, how bad can it be? Well, if the metrics cross zero, the Bureau of Simulations will automatically shut down the vacation simulator. Oh, well, we're still far away from zero, right? Welcome to the local local news station where we cover topics related to where you are currently standing. Breaking news! A human has been sighted outside their suite. This officially means that Vacation Island is open for business. This is not a drill. Where will the human go? Who knows? Breaking, breaking news! A human has been. Tre trees and plants use. Trees and Welcome plants use energy from the sun. Vacation forest. Humans used to hang out in the woods away from distractions like email and work. They called it roughing it. Why can't they do both? All the best vacations are productive ones. You can't enjoy your vacation if you're so focused on work. Human, the geyser is beautiful this time of year if you're looking for a fun excursion or just vacation your way. We'll leaf you to it. Oh, hello there, human. Would you like to discover the digital canvas with me, Bot Moss? I'd like you to paint me a little painting, human. Anything your heart desires. Fantastic, human. I feel the energy of this work. 
It truly represents wonder. It's art of the mind. The bots on the board would love to commission you to make them a painting. Do you know why, Fitz? The roar of the river allows you to really drown out the sound of these other bots having fun. So if you're gonna splash around, might as well help me find some fish. Just check out the board. You're gonna have to feed those fish if you want them to change color. Way to hook them, human. in the right species. <laughs> like a rock in the current, you were unfazed by this challenge. Wow. There may be plenty of fish in the river, but I'm going to permanently commit these to my memory storage. Would you be so kind as to help me find them? Dragonflies are very delicate, so move slowly around them. <clears throat> welcome to the Welcome Center. <laughs> well, come on in. Oh, nice! You grabbed my acorn spawn and slain shot. <laughs> Just pull back the string to flank. Give me a wave if you want to hear about finding targets in the forest. Look at its wonderful wings. Thank you, human. Can you find two more? That's a good physical manifestation of creativity. But I think some of the other bots on the board could use it first. Another one for my bug report. There's one more dragonfly out there, human. That's three for three. I've got all my beautiful friends. They 
Thank you so much, human. I'll always remember finding dragonflies with you. Ready for a spooky story? Just turn on the campfire. Wow! A real campfire! Look at that! Let me know when you're ready for a spooky story. All right, honey. The human's ready. Okay. I'll turn on the dark. Much better. <clears throat> a long time ago, in a simulated forest just like this one, a bot family set up camp. Well, Kidbot heard a scraping noise coming from outside the campground. The family went to investigate, but only found a rusty old magnet. His parent bot looked closer. It suddenly latched onto this screen and... Oh! And, and, oh, uh, oh, boy. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My uh, audio processor is so dry. Uh, a human, would you mind getting me a nice hot cup of liquid? Hey human, camping sucks. My super dorky family is forcing me to make food for everyone. But what if you did it and I took all the credit, eh? It would just be like a group project. You could keep waving at me, or you could look at the board. That's much better. Thanks, human. Anyway, parent bot tried to scream, but all that came out was a dial. Dial up? What's that? You know, uh... <clears throat> anyway, kid bot tried to call IT for an emergency backup. Only to find that... Oh no! Did you forget to eat today? Oops! Sorry, human! I can't access... Campfire story. In power saving mode. Could you, uh, bring me a waffle? Oh, human! It's like all these bots have, like, all these needs and they're, like, waiting on someone else to solve them. I wish I could automate this. Oh, yeah, oh, now that hit the spot. <laughs> Waffle. So, <clears throat> where was I in that story? Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Kidbot had hit their monthly data limit. No! Oh, dear. That was definitely too scary. <laughs> there, there. Turn the dark off. Ah, don't worry, champ. We're on a family plan. I wasn't scared. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> and look, 
Neither was the human. It looks like that story will stick with Kid Bop for a while. I hope you'll remember it too. Thanks for experiencing this campfire with us. flowers in any shape or form even in the shape of a sandwich <laughs> thanks human your garden is really starting to blossom Looks wonderful, human. It's teeming with carbon based life forms. Here's a memory of your horticultural demonstration. Feel free to swing by and tend to your garden anytime. It's fertile ground for botanical experimentation. You know where to find me. For me? Botany fact! This painting reminds me of my... Wonder. When you get a chance, I bet Botmoss has more painting for you. I bet that bot moth has more for you to do. Be sure to say hi for me. I'd like to think we made a happy little memory here. Have this as a drop of joy from me to you. Oh, would you look at that? More of our friends would love a painting from you. Thank you, human. I'd eat this every meal of the day if my chassis would allow it.
that's a real bunker. But I'm looking for a different kind. Experienced obsolescence through taste, but this painting perfectly captures that feeling. Check back in with Bot Moss to see if they have anything else for you. Fish can change their colors like the season, so maybe you should make sure this one matches the one on the board. some good ketchup. Don't forget to set that one free when you're done weighing. If you're hurting for cash, you can find some sand dollars on the ground in shallow water. Thank you for your patronage, my human. Human, you gotta bend for yourself. Thank you. Your account has been automatically charged. Oh, I'm proud to see that you're fishing, but you should try matching the color a little closer. You're gonna have to feed those fish if you want them to change color. Do you know why I fish? Oh, 
Great job. Oh, sorry, human. I was talking to the fish. I'm surprised you're persistent enough to find all those fish. I'm not used to humans having attention span. Here's a memory for your efforts. Thank you, human, for showing me that no one is perfect. This is not what I ordered. Please, try again. Art is food for the soul. This is food for the processing unit. to get some oxygen and this whole thing goes way deeper human there are even bots on the beach and mountain that want things it's like we're all part of some interconnected web remember this
Thanks for listening to my spooky story, human. But I think we've had enough scares for one day. I never get scared. Of course not. How about we just turn on the dark? Oh, hi there! I hear you met one or more of my sibling bots. You know, the forest is basically the ultimate vacation, and I think you are just the human to help me prove it. If you could take some photos that match these sketches, I can show my siblings I had the ultimate vacation. in the ground and watch it grow. I know because I tried. <laughs> you could make it a shrub though. Uh. Wow, this is a real masterpiece. My siblings will be so impressed by your artistic prowess. Boom! First set conquered. As the smartest sibling, this set clearly reflects my perfect calibrated decision-making subroutines. The only clear decision left is to give you this memory. To say I'm concerned with the overall health of this simulation would be an understatement. I'm not happy either. Try assembling the pieces. <laughs> Do you like to knit? I love knitting. I'd love to knit a hat for my grandbot, but unfortunately, I don't have the hands to do it myself. That a nice pattern, human, but I really want my grandma to have a knit hat. Hello, 
fellow human? I love to spoil my grand bots. There! Now it's ready for my grand bot, Mountain Shop Bot. Would you be a dear and bring it to them? Whoa! This must be for my grandparent bot. They're always looking out for me. A hat! Nice! Being in the cold has made me learn to love a good hat. I'll definitely wear this one since Grandparent Bot can see me from the lodge. Thanks, Grandparent Bot! You're welcome! And it looks like Great Grandbot left you a memory in here too. How nice! Take this and be sure to give Grandparent Bot my love. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, human! This is the coolest you can get on Vacation Island. So, <clears throat> proving the abominable snowbot exists is my number one priority. Photobot is the one with the passion for general vacation photography. This warning will be something you remember. Here, you should probably take this memory too. Hello, human. This mountain is filled with majestic moths. Would you be so kind as to bring me three to look at? They're very... Except Oh, hi there. I hear you met one or more of my sibling bots. You know, the mountain is literally the greatest vacation, and I need you to help me prove it. If you could take some photos that match these sketches, I can show my siblings I had the greatest vacation. Are you a puzzled human? Good! Puzzles are fun! If you want a new puzzle, just put a picture in that machine.
morning to you, human. This is the coolest you can get on Vacation Island. So, settle in and get your chill on. Look at its adorable antennae! <gasps> Thank you, human. Can you find two more? Way to rock that classic winter look, human! Human, some bots have requests for very specific orders. I'm operating on a higher level than simple input-output, so I'm just not going to do that. If you want to help, the next order is over on the board. Or don't, it's not your job. And when my screenplay is done, it won't be my job either. For me? I'll take it. More moss is my boot. Two more to go. I like watching you work, human. It really allows me to connect with the common folk. You wouldn't know what it's like to be in the industry. <laughs> I've already done one internship at Important Film Studio. So I've basically made it human. I don't know why I let myself be seen with... Ah, oh, for me? Thank you. Oh, hi, human. So much the pictures. Wow, congratulations. I'm too busy working on a soon-to-be award-winning screenplay to care. But there are more orders, if that's your thing. Jeez, it's really cold in here, human. I'm no vacation expert, but I'm pretty sure a hot tub is supposed to be hot. Can you find a way to warm it up? I don't think we're going to be able to warm the console up by hands. Have you ever found something with warmth? That was a 
exhilarating! <sighs> I am ready to be back human, but I think it's going to be worth your time. Uh, it's been a grip since anyone came by the hot tub, and I couldn't motivate myself to turn the heat back on. I've always been a social bot, but I guess nobody wants to chat. Thanks again for starting the heat back on. Sometimes you gotta get in and fix a problem, you know? Oh, just the other day, I found a bunch of dust in my vents. I wasn't really sure what to do, but my buddy swears that a can of compressed air is the way to go. I wasn't really sure what to do because it's got a little straw coming out of the can, so I just shoved it in as deep as I could go and waved it around for a while. Hmm. I think it ended up blasting my processor fan with the air. But the straw definitely knocked some dust out. Do you think that was a good idea? Yeah, maybe not. Oh, speaking of bad ideas? Ugh. Why am I even in a hot tub? I could blow a circuit or something, and I'm not exactly waterproof. I guess the tub has probably done a better job cleaning my vents than the dust remover, you know? Nothing like a good soap to get all the gunky bits out. Mm. Mm. Speaking of gunky bits. I saw a efficiency bot hovering around here a while ago. That bot rubs me the wrong way. It said something about bad metrics in my area. But let me tell you, human, I checked all my areas and I didn't find any metrics, good or bad. Do you know anything about metrics, human? Yeah, me neither. I'm rarely asked to measure anything, besides when Barista bot asked me to stay at least 10 feet away. That's a pretty weird metric, given that a foot is an imperial unit and not a metric one. If they'd asked me to stay three meters away, I think it would have been more concise. Not really sure why they asked me to stay away. It's not like I'm leaving this hot tub anytime soon. My vents would freeze in an instant in this cold mountain air, and all the rubber bits under my buttons would probably get pretty brittle. Hey, I didn't think this hot tub thing through. I probably just stuck until the weather warms up. Oh! They're not gonna lower the temperature, are they? Huh. I guess that makes sense. We are on a mountain. Well, at least I look good in a hot tub, you know? Especially after that gradient upgrade I got. Huh. You know, back in 2050, nobody had these, but now they're all the rage. I was a bit worried about the procedure because of some of the side effects, but I guess the one I was most worried about doesn't matter because I definitely made a friend today. Unless you're a weird friend. But that's okay too, I think. We're all a little weird here on Vacation Island. Anyway, thanks for chatting with me, human. I think I'll remember all the things you said for a long time. Come to think of it, there probably is some of my bits floating in here. Welcome, uh, decorative yet bland. This contradiction pleases me.
Photo blindness, human. I can only tell what's in a photo if it's got what I'm. is the great thing about the mountains, human. You can't make a snow human on the beach. And that's one set down. This is a fantastic start to proving my role as the primary sibling. You definitely earned this memory. I'm willing to forget your interruption right now, but that's only because I needed something to focus. my bug report! There's still one more month out there, human. Ah, I see you're practicing. Cool, cool. That will come in handy in our next face-off. 
It's gonna be a cold day in the mountain before I let you pelt me unanswered. All right, you asked for it. I'm gonna throw a snowball at you and hit you right in the noggin. It will be a hard throw, but not like too hard, you know? I mean, it won't hurt, but you'll definitely feel it. Okay, okay, here I go. Get ready for snowy weather. Huh? Oh, did that one hit me? You would never ask a Botticelli to serve food to the unwashed masses. <laughs> you insult me. You made it, you deliver it. I like watching you work, human. It really allows me to connect with the common folk. You wouldn't know what it's like to be in the industry. Bots make orders and you fulfill them. I watch. It's a system and it's working. Why mess with success? Look at the board if you need more instruction. Did you know the Latin root for the word manual is manus, meaning hands? You have two hands, so you're easily the most qualified one here. My Bachelor of Arts degree left me woefully underprepared to do manual labor. Oh, human, I know you think you know me, but you don't. I don't even like coffee. How's that for a stereotype? Check out the board if you want to do some orders.
I've already done one internship at Important Film Studio, so I basically made it human. I don't know why I let myself be seen with the public. human? You know, I also try to be thoughtful to every bottle of human I meet. Just the other day, I offered Barista Bot to join me in the hot tub. I thought it was a nice gesture, but they completely ignored me. Maybe I wasn't loud enough. Oh well. Wow, you really like filling out those orders, don't you? Well, uh... Here's a memory. And here's your real prize, which is more orders for you to do.
say I'm concerned with the overall health of this. You know, it's nice to see you all getting... I love that photo, but I need something that will show the Sibs this... Hello, here. This machine will accept any official snowflakes. I think I've seen some lying around in the mountain. You should pay close attention to the sketch. Perfection is in the details. I got this idea from Hot Tub Bot. Yeah, I really wish they'd gotten out of the hot tub first, though. things whenever you'd like, human. Oh, careful! That was right next to my bug drive! I use that to love bugs! Hey! No throwing snow! I don't want any trouble! I'm just a simple bug bot! Hello, human! This mountain is... You found all my magnificent moth friends! Thank you so much, human. I will always remember this, and you should too! 
here. Welcome to the Vacation Simulator Vacation Hey, welcome I'm back. Sorry. I'm DJ DJ Bot coming at you live on KSIM Radio. So, we're going to go with our new instant hit by Background Music Bot. Funk Music underscore zero five underscore dot W-A-V. Such a catchy name. This is the coolest you can get on Vacation Island. So, settle in and get your chill. Oh, great! Vacation there? I mean, it's hard to enjoy the island when... Welcome to the local, local news station where we cover topics related to where you are currently standing. Vacation Bot tells me gondolas were the human's most efficient way to climb mountains. Enjoy. Yay! Great job, human! We're on our way to see the rest of the mountain. Get on this gondola and throw that switch. Welcome to the Overlook, human. We're really high up, but the summit is even higher. Just remember, it's about the journey. To Welcome to the local local news. Welcome to the local well, local actually, news station course, where we cover topics related to where you are currently standing. <laughs> Bundle up, human. The weather in Vacation Mountain is cold. Coming to you live from the ski. Coming to you live from the ski station. Hello, the human. Are you ready to do some skiing? Grab those poles to get started. Crazy music always plays when you ski, but I'm pretty sure that's a human custom. Oh, welcome, human. I hear you're ready to scale the lofty heights of rock. This is the only place on Vacation Island where you can go rock climbing that complies with our liability, our public relations department, our insurance provider, and tort reform. See how high you can make it. Why do we fall, human? To remind you that every time you grab a new handhold, it has to match the shape or color of the last one you grab. Handhold that matches the color or shape of the one you're currently holding. Ah, uh, this is a 
attraction will be much more fun if you ascend. Be sure that you grab hand tools that are the same shape or color of the one you just grabbed. Why do we fall, human? To remind you that every time you grab a new hand tool, it has to match the shape or color of the last one you grabbed. Handhold that matches the color or shape of the one you're currently holding. Uh, this attraction will be much more fun if you ascend. Be sure that you grab handholds that are the same shape or color of the one you just grabbed. Great job, human! You did it! <laughs> You're a certified climber! Yeah, we don't really actually certify climbers, but at least we made a fun memory. Once you crest one peak, another is revealed! This time, you should try to get the high score! Do you like to go fast, but not actually exert yourself very much, human? Me too! That's what skiing is all about! Cold. Skiing, human. I can't remember ever seeing someone shred like that. But now I can. Get it? It was you! A score like that deserves a memory. is kind of like falling upwards. Oh, you can do it. Never stop believing, human. You'll get there someday. score, but you always make some kind of vertical progress. We may not always accomplish the goal, but we put our best effort forward, and that's what matters. Yo, oh, did you finish climbing? <laughs> Sorry. I was distracted by those hands. We don't always have to break a record. It's enough to just be making positive progress. Keep practicing.
seem human. <laughs> You'll beat that high score in no time. more efficient if we had just installed an elevator. It's not really an accomplishment if you just skip to the end. Anyway, no peak is complete until you flip Now raise that testament to human achievement up high. Okay, we did it. Now what? Now what? We did it. We climbed the highest peak on Vacation Island and flew the flag to prove it. This is so much more exhilarating than a memory. I don't even want to look at that chart anymore. You tell me how it is. Would it help if I told you it looked like a beautiful waterfall? <sighs> I don't get it. It seems like no matter how much the human vacations, these metrics get worse. The Bureau of Simulations is breathing down my ergonomic monitor stand. I didn't want to do this, but we might have to make some drastic changes. I need a moment to process. Well, I guess Efficiency Bot is busy crunching the numbers. I'll wait here for them to come back so we can talk. You can use that path to get back to the mountain shop, human, and we'll catch up with you soon. For more climbing? Yeah! Awesome! <laughs> you know the drill. <laughs> Whoa! You actually managed to get a picture of THE abominable snowbot. I was starting to think I had a bad sector in my memory. Thanks for filling the gaps in my memory. So here's a memory for you. the sketch there's no better feeling in the world than finding what you're looking for by yourself quietly you managed to catch fish I had only ever heard of in stories I'm not a very sentimental bot but I'm proud of you, human. Here, have this memory. Griffin! Ah, you've chosen our special nod. Please it we've charged your account for the service. This service has a 10% chance of working properly. Thank you. Thank you. Your account has been automatically charged. 
Hello, human. I'd be happy to assist you with whatever you may need in your stay at our resort. If this is a prank call, please dial zero. Otherwise, please dial one. Ah ha 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 ha, human. That was very funny. I hope you use your time in this resort for better things than pranking our staff. This burger is close, but not quite right. I can only regulate my input with the right burger. give me energy to think about the important things in life. Bye!
your brain out. I think the human does too. Great, I definitely needed a recharge. That'll look nice in your garden. Oh, you must be interested in botany. Oh, exploring the world of all. Hey, human. Oh, that'll look nice in your garden. Now, I like your sense of adventure, but we really should stick... Look at that! It's an outstanding photo! The photo is nice, but it's not quite what I sketched. You should take another look. 
Oh, hi, human. Go match the pictures. Thanks for listening to my spooky story, human. But I think we've had enough scares for one day. I never get scared. Of course not. <laughs> How about we just turn on the dark? I know we're not really keeping track, but you've gotten a high s'more! Thanks for taking all those bots to Burger Town. That amount of flavor deserves a memory. I don't think my central processing unit can process this food. At my production date, I should probably stick to my specific diet. This, 
This is not what I had pictured. You know, my siblings would laugh. You did great earlier. Uh, tubular! Alright. Get it out of the game! 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 Get it out of the Crazy music always plays when you ski, but I'm pretty sure that's a human custom.
for more climbing? Yeah! Awesome! <laughs> you know the drill. to come back anytime you want to lift yourself up. There's even more climbing for you. Cold snap! That is a good photo. Now this is a memorable set of mountain photos. There is no way my siblings could top this. seem bleak, but I've got a great idea. I was looking into ancient human vacation traditions and stumbled on the best way to keep this simulator open. A party! Parties were the pinnacle of social vacation celebrations. It's the only way to turn this all around. Follow me and I can show you what I'm talking about. Check this out! Another scanner? Ah! Efficiency bot must have buried that logic deep in the simulation. I guess we'll have to get memories all across Vacation Island before we can have our party. Well, let's get to it. Pass accepted. Phew. We did the work, now let's get to the fun. Flip that switch so we can party. It's time to pot! Wait, where, where are we? This doesn't look like what this I read about. This is no error. Can you, the... you can't just say party, throw a switch, and expect everything will work out. But, but I, I watched at least two documentaries on this exact concept. Well, with the metrics in peril, and no real plan to fix the simulation, I had to find a way to save this vacation. Human, let's optimize our vacation to maximum efficiency. I can't support this. I'm not going to watch you ruin vacation. Human, I need you to press that button to... Vacation. It's the most efficient interact... Sand castles. Yes, a perfect symbol for beach vacation. Hurry up and build your castle so we can move on. It's done. See how much more efficient that was? Let's continue. Burgers. I've heard these are also very important to a human's beach vacation. Finished. I'm loving this new efficiency. The metrics will be fixed in no time. Keep going. We're done with the beach now and onto the forest. Vacationing humans love flowers, apparently. So let's start there. I believe humans would call that... Aesthetically pleasing. We're moving at a near optimal rate now. Onward. Many human... Media. Show painting in nature to have a relaxing effect. That's cheeky. Human, I like your attitude. Let's keep it moving. On the mountain, humans spent most of their time inside staying warm. What better indoor activity than solving a puzzle? Oh, I see you're trying to flatter me, human, but this is for your own good. Think of how long that would have taken you without my help. Next! Battling ice was an annoying but necessary part of mountain vacation. This is peak efficiency. Human, that sculpture might not have taken long to execute, but our real saving was in skipping past the concept phase. 
We have to put a stop to this. This is not vacation. We were making so much progress. With a little bit more time, I'm sure we were going to pull through. Look at the graph, efficiency bot. The metrics are still falling and got even worse when we switched to efficient vacationing. That can't be true. We were at maximum vacation potential. This has to be incorrect. You're doubting the graph now after the million times you agonized over it? One million is a gross misrepresentation of my analysis. My internal counter is only 321. This isn't about the times you've gone over the metrics. It's that you can't be content to just... Hold on a second. Human, what is that? We don't have the time to be figuring out what the human is doing. We have bigger equations to solve. No. Look, efficiency bot. I think the human may have just solved the biggest equation of all. I see. Internal relaxation is sharply rising. But how does this help? I'm not sure. But it's a start. That's it. Don't you see? The humans used vacation as a way to increase internal relaxation. Yes, of course. Output metrics were highest while jobbing, but humans needed time where they could focus on internal processes. Exactly. We were so focused on the metrics, we never saw the bigger JPEG. And our mix of pushing the human to gather memories and enjoy excursions seemed to be highly effective. It wasn't that either one of our theories was correct. It was both of them, together. I think we can convince the Bureau to modify the metrics, but... My experiment in efficient vacationing has significantly affected the human's internal relaxation. I wish vacation had an undo button. Wait a nanosecond. There might be a way, but we're going to have to work together to pull this off. Hold on. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I am so hype. Press the button, human. I'm certain you'll enjoy what happens next. Shh, I hear the human. Everyone take your places. Remember your dialogue, bots. Thank you for showing us what it means to relax. Without your efforts, you have never seen the data points from the plot. And now, it's time to bring your relax to the max. Enjoy your party, human! Is there nothing better than completing a low-impact workout and saving the day? No, I don't think so. Welcome to the... Bots in an Apartment is filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> Well, that's never a good sign. I figured out how we're going to get rich. We'll finally have enough money to move mm. Is this party a puzzle? City. You still haven't finished my puzzles, so I'm not sure we'd be able to solve it so even, even if it was. Thank you into. for having me in your wonderful there. suite. I know there are more sandcastles to complete, but it's a lovely thing. Relax. Come see me on the beach if you like. It's full of room. Okay, so you're gonna use blockchain to get rich? I assume there's a step beyond putting the word blockchain somewhere in your business plan. Uh, elementary, my dear Botson. I'm going to be very violent using my sparsity. Here, watch. That ride chair says you look real missing all of a sudden. Next up on Bot Channel 3, it's Young Kooky Bot, the spin off no one asked for. We're not sure why humans enjoy distilling shows down to the worst elements, but this is an accurate simulation of network television. Bots in an apartment is filmed.
Thanks for bringing a little bit of joy into bots' lives. Oh, human! I hope you're using this party to rest up for a monster climb! There's still more to scale up in the Overlook! is so much we, more at ease, knowing we were able to catalogue all of the undersea life. Maybe I'll be able to let my inner the head... The thing to do is enjoy this party! Uh, You've uh, had a ball with everything else, human! Human, I can't thank you enough. You made my child and my partner's vacation. And you know what? That made my vacation. Unless you're fetching something for me, now I'm not here to relax, relax and Party enjoy honor. this punk. Whatever the kids are saying these days. Sometimes when no one is looking, I sing to my plants! <laughs> it helps them grow! Isn't this the best party ever? Strictly speaking, this achieves almost the maximum internal relaxation. But I wonder if we can strive for perfection. There are memories on the island that the human hasn't collected. Yes, of course. That must be the key to the perfect party. Human, come by the overlook whenever.